check out this footage that I caught on one of the trail cameras that I was showing you from last month. It shows the reaction of a rookie drone pilot, that would be me, when his drone goes AWOL. Notice the look of dismay and panicked punching of the controller buttons, followed by a frantic running trying to catch up with the out of control drone. So this video is a public service announcement for any of you rookie drone flyers. Me, I've only had this DJI Mavic Air for a couple of months. And the warning is for those of you who are flying in a forested environment like this, or anywhere where the overhead access is tricky. By default, if it loses connection with your controller for whatever reason, it will rise to an altitude you preset, which is 20 meters or higher, and then try to fly back to its home set point, which in theory is where you started to fly the drone from. But that didn't work in my case. So I'm down here and my drone's about 15 feet up there and it loses its signal and decides it wants to go home, which apparently is somewhere in China. So it tries to return to its minimum return altitude and that is a problem when you're under a canop forest canopy. So it flies up trying to find an escape route and ends up in that tree right up there to the, up to there it took me a couple hours to find this thing can you see it right right in the middle of the screen there i think it's stuck till our next big windstorm then hopefully it'll fall down down to the base of this tree this is what the drone saw, sped up by 3x. Here you can see it's doing a pretty good job navigating through the branches, faltering once and then recovering, then ultimately ending up upside down in a tree about 70 feet up. From this angle you can't really see even zoomed in because of the leaves, but from right underneath it you can see pretty clearly if you know exactly where to look. So the good news is there's an easy way to avoid this problem. The DGI app has three options uh, for what it's to do when it loses its signal. The default is for it to return to home, which is probably the best in most situations where you have free and clear overhead access. The setting that I use around here in a forest would be to hover. That way I can, you know, I always keep an eye on the, where it is and I can go over to where it is and reconnect and landed. The third option is for it just to land, which it will do eventually when the battery runs out. So the rest of this video is going to show my trials at trying to coax that drone out of the tree. What we got here is a slingshot, brand new, $25, professional grade. We got a lead weight tied on to 50 pound stealth brand spider wire. Not far enough. Went to uh, about a one ounce weight, squished a little bit more symmetrically. The previous one was a thicker lead, not very symmetric, probably two or three ounces. New plan. That slingshot wasn't getting the range I needed, so I used it as an excuse to buy myself a bow and arrow. $80 for the bow, compound bow, and $20 for a dozen arrows, and a $5 fishing reel. I hooked my reel up to a tripod quick release. I see the uh, tree wiggling. So, I'm going to wiggle the branch up there. <laughs> but that drone doesn't want to budge. My arrow is stuck up in that branch right with the drone. I get some sort of resonance. That drone is really stuck. Try it a couple of... Oh, there it goes! Ha ah, Victory! I believe it lives. I think we'll probably have to write off the arrow. It's arrow number five. But let's see if I can convince it to come down out of that tree. With the help of this friendly neighborhood stick, my glove was not happy. I wrapped the fish line around that stick, gave it a 
big pull and the line broke right at the arrow and the arrow came happily down and missed me by a good five feet so, so by the way the recommendation is take the tips off of those arrows a few recommendations for you fellow droners who happen to have a tree a drone stuck in your tree uh, one is a shot put would probably work for uh, not too high up but if you're probably over 50 feet or so I get a compound bow so I didn't know too much about compound bows but they are adjustable and once you get them pulled they're easy to hold so you can aim them fairly accurately take the tips off your arrows use 50 pound tests that 10 pound test that came with my five dollar fishing reel snapped uh, when I used it with the bow and arrow. Then I hooked the fishing reel up to a gorilla tripod mount so I could aim it right up into the sky. Use my binoculars to figure out where the drone was. Actually those drones they have a mode where you can set the find my drone on and then they'll tweak the motor so they beep a little. And that was key to find it in this forest because it was daylight and the LEDs you couldn't see them but we could kind of triangulate based on hearing where that beeping was come from. I probably shot the bow and arrow ten times, lost four arrows, <laughs> but that fifth one, uh, he stuck right above the branch. Here's the setting I had missed set under the first tab under RC signal lost. The default will be return to home. If you're in a forest canopy you want it set to either landing or hover. I think that get and I think that gets reset with a firmware update, so beware. I have a broken prop here, so perfect.